Okay, last week I did a Steve Good mug. He has one more pattern. It's a smaller one. It's called, he calls this a, a coffee mug. So uh, what I've got here, he, he has it lined out for four three-quarter inch rings this size plus a base or a bottom and a handle. So um, I'm going to do like I did last on the, on the other mug. I'm going to use uh, scrap pieces. So what I've got here, instead of uh, four rings, I'm going to have three, but they're going to add up to the same height. This is some maple. It's left over from another project. This is some poplar, also left over from another project. And this is some cherry that I set up to use on the, uh, the other mug. It just wasn't quite big enough for the, for the rings, and these rings are smaller. So I'm going to use that. And I'll probably put it in the middle, kind of balanced light top and light bottom and darker center. And then this is some mahogany, a quarter inch, it's going to be the bottom. So I'm going to get these mounted up and uh, I'll cut them out and start gluing them together. I have to sand them, of course, and match up the uh, rings inside and then put the bottom on and sand the outside. And then I have to sand the the handle, and we'll cut the, the handle is going to be out of this. And that's a piece of uh, unusual light walnut is what that is. And it's kind of the same thing I used on the last mug. So everything's cut straight up and down. There's no, no angles to figure or anything. You just cut these rings and put them together and sand them off smooth. So I'm going to get all these patterns mounted. Some of these already got me some, got me something to, to glue the pattern to. You won't have to tape them or anything. Uh, so they get them started. I'll cut these up. I'm going to have to cut three of them and the bottom and the handle.
got those glued together. That's just three rings. So I only had one, two joints to sand. Uh, they joined up real nicely. The, the cut came out pretty well. Wasn't much of a, of a lip there anywhere. Had a little bit of burn mark in the cherry that I had to, to sand out, but that was easily done. You can see I got some on the outside there I'm going to get next. But the next step is I'm going to glue the, the bottom on it, and then I'll sand the outside. And then I'll have to uh, work on the uh, handle. And he says to put red sandpaper around this and sand that to, to fit it. And I'll probably do something like that, if not that exactly. But uh, that'll be the plan. So next I'm going to glue the bottom on it. And then I'll sand the outside of it. Okay, so I got the outside sanding. I did put some uh, sandpaper, wrap some sandpaper around the, the cup and just by hand rub that handle on till I got those to flush up pretty good and then I use some super glue and accelerator spray to glue them on uh, that's worked before for me so hopefully it'll work again this time so anyway I'm gonna let that set a little while and we'll clean up the excess glue around it best I can and I'm gonna put a finish on it probably just some spray enamel clear enamel polyurethane uh, whatever I've got over there um, I'm going to spray this. I'm not going to hand apply it like I've been doing on my uh, my bases and bowls. And for something small like this, I like to just do a light spray, several coats of real light spray. Try not to get any runs in it or puddles. So I'll let that settle a little while. I'll put a finish on it and we'll see what it looks like. So there's the pretty much the finished cup. It, uh, it's got two coats of poly on it. I'm going to put several more, but I put one on, which raised the grain in some areas and exposed some uh, glue spots. There was one up here in the middle of everything. Uh, that's, that's where you find those. You think you've got them all. But sometimes I'll use a little water on it or some mineral spirits to bring those out. But a first coat's good for that because normally you have to sand it anyway. You raise the grain, and sometimes you have to raise the grain on two or three coats. But anyway, that's uh, just made out of scrap. It could have been better looking, but it's kind of a neat little cup, uh, kind of a practice cup as much as anything. I may make more of these. Uh, and I've probably got plenty of scrap I can use up for it. So anyway, if you like that, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I've got some more bowls to make. Uh, I'm gonna try some different ideas in uh, laminating different things for bowls vases and cups we've got some ideas to try on these i'm cooking in my head trying to figure them out if i can make them work but uh, anyway thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video